Hello there YouTube, Devin here again. Um, sorry it's been so long since I put out a video, I've been just having an absolutely murderous work week. Um, so this is my first day off here, and uh, yeah, it was uh, just a really, really long, really, really long hard week, and I just, I didn't get home until super late most days. Normally I, first thing I do when I get home, uh, besides get out of my work clothes, is make a YouTube video, but I was just way too fucking tired to to do that so um so today I'm gonna put out a couple videos probably just to uh kind of fill in the gap and I once again I apologize to you all so um I did say there's gonna be a little bit more space in between videos so just bear with me here if you if you'd be so so kind as to do that I try to make a video every day but sometimes that just doesn't happen and videos are probably gonna get spaced out by a few more days here uh be a couple days in between each video now because of how how work is going so uh yeah but uh today what i have here for you this is a uh, gas mask review um it's been my second gas mask video uh i'm not i don't know a ton about gas masks or anything like that so i'm relying on you guys a lot here to fill fill in i recently just started collecting gas masks i actually only have two i have a russian one and i have this one and uh this one uh, has I've I've had for quite a long time. This is actually the first gas mask I ever owned, and um, it is a Canadian uh, C4 gas mask, and um, it's kind of based off of the British S series of gas masks, as you could see by the big kind of round eyes and uh, everything like that, and just how it generally looks in shape. Um, but it's got a, a it's um, a little bit different. Um, uh, the eyes are uh, very very. Uh, nice uh you can see very well from them uh i have shot uh with this on before and uh you can line up your sights pretty easy with this they don't give you fishbowl vision super bad like some gas masks do um it is changeable uh, as you can see here between a 60 millimeter filter and then has two 40 millimeter filter slots one on each side depending on um if you're right or left handed um it has this down here uh this is like your uh uh reverse chamber so that way when you breathe out um this opens to let air out but then it's suction cups shut so you don't breathe in contaminated air and this is just the cover for that so um, it does have the drinking tube uh the drinking tube uh stores down here in this little little port here you can pull it out so um but it's a kind of a tight fit because it's all rubber so but uh, that's where the drinking tube is store, and you could just pull this part out right here and uh, plug it into your canteen if you have the right cap on your canteen. So you could drink, um, and it goes right in up here. Uh, it's held in place uh, by this kind of nylon mesh around the back of your head uh, that's just adjusted through slider buckles, um, five slider buckles. And then it has a little pull tab just to uh, help you there. Um, Try to get a view of the inside here without the uh, mesh getting away. There's what the inside of the mask looks like, and there's where the drinking tube enters. That white, that kind of clear plastic there. Um, so uh, this is the Canadian uh, Current Service gas mask. Uh, I like it because it's kind of that mashup between the United States uh, and British uh, again, which is uh, what I really really like about Canada, uh, military wise. Um, and it also came with a, a bag and stuff like that, and I'll, I'll show you what was in the uh, bag. It came with that one one filter uh, that I had. I've had this gas mask since I was like 14 years old, and uh, this is the filter that it came with. I have other filters, but this is the filter that it came with, and I'm sure it's no good anymore because it's been open since since before I had it. So um, I mean, that's the filter it came with, and uh, it also came uh, with this bag here. And what this bag has in it is it has... um. I could get it so you can have no glare on it. Uh, it has lotion in it. This is like to help seal your gas mask and stuff. And because it's Canadian, uh, it has this all in English right here. And then again, it's all in all in French. So it's it's in English and in French. So you can because uh, part of Canada speaks French. Uh, French. So and that's in this kind of Ziploc bag. I don't know if it comes in the Ziploc bag or if uh, whoever owned it before me put it in a Ziploc bag. But this. Uh, is very cool provenance to have with it so we also got this key and what the key does is um 
The key uh, fits in these little slots here on the side of the gas mask. You could take the ports off and switch it around. Uh, it's just pretty much a plastic tool. Um, there's what it says on it. It says conversion tool for C4 mask and it has the NSN, just a piece of plastic, has a little like keychain slot on it. I keep that with it too. Uh, then there is the the bag itself. And the bag is in CAD pad, of course. Um, it's made out of like a, a thousand denier nylon. Uh, it's got belt loops up here or moly loops. Um, uh, this is where you would Velcro it shut. It would like um, roll up and then you would put this over there so it stays closed. And then it has an extra secure uh, flap that you could put over this piece of Velcro to hold it shut. Um, it's pretty much one large main compartment and that piece of um, elastic right down there is my pinky is just like an extra little filter pouch that's sewn in there. But other than that, it's just one big open pouch. And then um, there's a smaller pouch on this side. It's just held shut with Velcro. I don't keep anything in there. Um, and then there's this pouch. Um, it has like the name tape spot, but it's covered up with this piece of nylon. That's how I got it. Um, it's got two pouches here. There's one behind here that's flat. And then there's this one, which kind of uh, is bellowed, as you can see. So uh, I normally will keep uh, the lotion uh, in the uh, innermost pocket and this kind of outside pouch is where I keep the, the uh, little key to uh, convert the gas mask over. Um, but other than that, uh, if you guys know any information about this as far as when it was adopted or anything like that, um, I'd be very appreciative for you to drop some information in there. I really, really like this gas mask. I've tried on a lot of different gas masks. Um, I used to own four of them, but now I've down to two because I sold I sold some to some people. I used to have like a German M65, which is a really, really common gas mask. And then I used to have a Yugoslavian gas mask too because I really like Balkan surplus. But uh, somebody who is way more into Balkan surplus than me and a good friend of mine bought my Yugoslavian mask and uh, he's going to put it on display. And I just ended up selling my German one to... Um, one of my friends who probably honestly converted it into like a bong gas mask but um yeah so hopefully you guys like this video and um uh i'll do my best to answer any questions you guys have on this but once again gas masks aren't really my forte but it's something you guys wanted to see and it's still something i'm interested in so i'm i'm probably going to be doing a lot more reading on gas masks and getting more of them here because they're pretty cheap and they're a pretty cool thing to collect um despite how kind of weird they look and everything like that um but Hopefully you guys like this and uh, you subscribe if you're new to the channel. We hit 80 subscribers the other day, which I absolutely love. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic about that. And I thank you all so much for doing that. Um, uh, please uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos or if there's anything you want to see I could do for you. Um, more helmets are in the mail. Um, I just got paid the other day and I bought, I think... It was either seven or eight different helmets that are on the way. A couple of them are pretty rare, and I'll do videos on them when they get here. Uh, just so you guys know, because the helmets are the most popular videos I do. So, um, as always, thank you so much for watching, and uh, hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Bye.